FC Dallas will begin their quest for the MLS Cup in a semifinal round matchup against the Seattle Sounders beginning on Sunday. What added motivation does last year's defeat on away goals give this year's FCD team? And how can the team take advantage of a short turnaround for Seattle? We'll discuss it next in Keys to the Match, driven by Toyota. In 2014, Seattle finished atop the Western Conference and drew Dallas in a playoff matchup after the knockout round. This season, the script is flipped as Dallas sits in first place and they have drawn the Sounders once again in the semifinal round. Yeah, and you can call this maybe the revenge tour for FC Dallas, but the shoe is on the other foot, as you said, for Dallas this year. They're the one that comes into this round rested uh, and traveling to their opponent. And for FC Dallas, they really want to use the blueprint from last year's playoff trip to Seattle, where they stay composed at the back, counterattacked quickly, and of course it was a scoreless draw, but FC Dallas had their chances. They're going to want to look to last year's performance as the blueprint for this season. We've talked about it before, but one of the biggest assets to the Dallas lineup is Mauro Diaz. The Argentine playmaker has three goals and three assists in his last six games, and when he is on the field, he dramatically changes the Dallas attack. Yeah, and he's in MVP form right now for FC Dallas, and he scored or assisted on four of Dallas's last five goals. And if you remember, Diaz was available in the playoffs last year, but he only came back in the last game before the playoffs after a long layoff. He wasn't in the form or the game shape that he is right now, and he really just provides that link from the, for FC Dallas from the defense to the attack. He's the one that opens up the field, and if they can get him the ball, good things will happen for FC Dallas in this series. Turning our eyes to the opponent, Seattle is coming off a midweek knockout round game against the LA Galaxy and quite the offensive showing for both sides in that one. They faced a short turnaround ahead of Sunday and they were missing a couple key players in that one, but they're always a team to watch out for in the postseason. Yeah, and this is a Seattle team that hasn't lost since August. And while they're not railroading teams, they are finding ways to win and finding ways to keep games close. And that Dempsey-Martins combo always gives league defenses nightmares. But if you remember, FC Dallas, they didn't allow a goal or an assist to that duo last season in the playoffs. As we said earlier, they went into CenturyLink Field and got the shutout last season, and that's the blueprint for FC Dallas that can give them a lot of confidence looking to take either a tie or a lead back home to Toyota Stadium next weekend. Sunday's match will be shown nationally on Fox Sports 1 and the Fox Sports Go app, or you can tune into the radio broadcast on 100.7 FM, The Word with Steve Davis. Well, that does it for this week. For Keys to the Match, driven by Toyota, I'm Carter Baum. And I'm Daniel Robertson. We'll see you next time.